Hi everyone, thanks for coming. Uh, my name is Eddie Zaneski. I'm one of the tech leads for SIG CLI, which is the special, special interest group for uh, Kubernetes that works on kube control. Uh, I'm here to talk to you about how we improve kube control without breaking users. Uh, it's really hard. It's actually super hard. It's a really hard problem. Uh, we try really hard to do it. Uh, Kube control is very old. Uh, it's as old as Kubernetes itself, right? Like when you first build Kubernetes, the next thing you need to immediately build is a client to interact with it. So the code base we have is super legacy. Uh, it's been difficult to kind of keep things moving forward in the direction we want. Uh, there's all sorts of different things that we agree we wouldn't do today uh, if we could go back in time and make the different decision, but uh, Kubernetes as a project, we have a very top level uh, directive of to not break users, right? Like we are extremely averse to breaking users. Uh, a large part of this is, is pipelines go burr. Right, like we have all of these old CI/CD pipelines that people have been deploying over the past 10 years, and they may be pulling in the latest version of Cube Control, or they may be pulling in the latest version of something, uh, not reading release notes, and all of a sudden, if we make changes to the API surface of flags or environment variables, uh, things break, uh, and pipelines break, and people get paged, and that's really bad and scary. Uh, so, what do we do? How do we actually handle this? How do we improve KubeCTL uh, without? breaking y'all. Well, uh, I mentioned flags. This is one of the things that we really try hard to like get a stable surface on. Uh, if you're one of the folks that have come recently to uh, the, our issue tracker and asked for a feature or a new flag to be added and we said no, uh, it's nothing personal, uh, but the more flags we have, the harder it gets to break things and make changes. Uh, so we're very protective over especially like short one letter flags like a dash I or something. Uh, we're very, we're very getting, uh, very protective about like the surface that we start exposing. Environment variables are a kind of easy thing to change. You know, this is something that you as a developer can add to your, uh, your, your bash RC or something to opt into a change. The problem again becomes we can't change default behavior. Uh, if we want to say, oh, like, uh, you know, we want to change, delete's a great example, right? Cube control delete. If you delete a namespace with kubectl, does anyone know what happens? It deletes everything in your namespace. Uh, if you accidentally do a dash dash all to delete all of your namespaces, do you know what happens? You've wiped your cluster. Uh, there is no prompt for you to actually uh, say, are you sure you want to do this? We can't introduce a prompt because it's a breaking change for all of your pipelines, right? So it can't be the default. Uh, thankfully, over the past two releases, we've actually added in support for delete confirmation. So now if you do a dash I with a cube control delete, you will get a, are you really sure you want to do this prompt? Uh, but again, that is a opt-in behavior that we can't do a default for. So environment variables are another thing that we can thankfully uh, have you opt into as a default from a bash config or something. Uh, but the real trick and the real magic here is this new uh, release, uh, this new feature we have called kubrc. Uh, I don't think it's going to make 131. It will most likely make the next release. Uh, shout out to Arda from Red Hat. He's been working very hard on this for the past uh, several months. But this is the idea that we can take your kube config and separate out user preferences from your cluster configuration. Right? So this is the idea that you as a developer, just like you have a bash RC, can now have a cube RC. Uh, and this lets you define configs or opt into different behavior based on uh, either field names in the config, maybe the version of the config. Uh, and so this should be coming very shortly to y'all. It's in the final stages of review. Uh, to learn more about this, you can join our talk on Thursday at 11 a.m. in uh, Ballroom A, which is, I think is probably somewhere right around here. Uh, other than that, 6 CLI has meetings every other Wednesday uh, at 9 a.m. Pacific time. You can find us on the Kubernetes community GitHub if you want to find our, our meeting link and our agenda. Uh, all of it's free, open to come up. You don't have to register. You can just kind of show up to our meetings, say hi. Uh, and we're also doing a, a Meet the SIG session where you can come and meet all the other contributors. So uh, with that, thank you all, and uh, thanks for using Cube Control. Thank you.